In this training video, you will learn the following. What is G7, bump tests and calibration, before starting your shift, starting your shift, gas detection, requesting help, yellow pending alarms, yellow warning alarms, and ending your shift. Our goal is for you to feel confident and safe when using G7. G7 is a personal safety monitor that keeps you connected in the case of a gas leak, a health incident, or an intruder. Should you require help, G7 delivers the incident situational awareness needed to manage the fastest response. G7 is equipped with configurable gas and safety features, driver check-in, two-way texting, 18 hours of battery, and can even work in minus 20 conditions. Two-way voice communication is also available for purchase on our cellular devices. Please ensure you're in a safe environment when you bump and calibrate your G7. You can bump and calibrate by first attaching the calibration cap, then navigate to the bump test or calibration on the main menu by selecting OK. Your G7 will then instruct you on when to apply gas, when to stop and when the procedure is complete. You can also bump and calibrate your G7 by using G7 Dock. This also charges G7. Before you use your G7, ensure that it's fully charged. G7 only needs four hours for a full charge. Disconnect your G7 from the charger and power on. Please wait for the blinking green SureSafe light to turn solid. Once connected, secure G7 to your belt or chest. Do not leave G7 unattended when powered on, as this will lead to false alerts. If G7 receives a stale TWA over limit or high gas alert, your G7 will immediately sound with red flashing lights. Evacuate the area immediately and follow your emergency safety protocol. Once safe, you can read your G7 screen to see which alert was activated. Your monitoring personnel will be responding to you shortly. Red alerts can never be cancelled on the device, but can be silenced by pressing on the up and down arrows for three beeps. For immediate help to your location, pull the red latch. This instantly activates an SOS red alert. G7 will sound and flash red. Your monitoring personnel will be notified immediately and will be responding to you shortly. Red alerts can never be cancelled but can be silenced by pressing on the up and down arrows for three beeps. During your shift, your G7 may ask you to confirm you are okay when it detects one of the following safety alerts. Fall detection, no motion and check-in. If you are safe when a pending alarm sounds, simply press down on the red latch once to cancel the alarm. However, if an incident does occur and you are unable to respond, your G7 will escalate to a red alert. G7 will sound and flash red lights. This will immediately alert your monitoring personnel of your situation and they will respond to you shortly. Throughout your shift, if you would like to check in early and reset your timer, simply press down on the red latch for the duration of three vibrations. G7 will automatically check you in if you are driving above 35 kilometers an hour. A yellow warning alarm indicates your G7 has a new message, which could be one of the following. An incoming voice call, network connection interruption, low battery, low gas, calibration or bump test due, or a new text message. Please read G7 screen and silence your device by holding down on the up and down arrows for three beeps. To end your shift, first ensure your SureSafe light is connected, then remove G7 and press down on the power button for 3 seconds and wait for G7 lights to stop flashing. Connect your charger cable and clip to your G7. Once connected, a red light will appear along with a charging symbol on your G7. Alternatively, you can charge your G7 by placing it into G7 dock. Thank you for watching this G7 training video. For technical support, please visit the Blackline Safety Support Centre.